Good morning all, take two. Right, um, it is the miniature paint now. I hope we're all doing very, very well on this wonderful day. Right, today's video, it is V, &V Miniatures update time. Now, I was very kindly sent these by Carl Merritt, who runs Mezzers Minis. And he got in contact, the other, uh, this was a few months ago now, and said, oh, excuse me. I like the fact that you're into historical miniatures and all ranges of historical miniatures and can I send you some? This was three months ago now. And I was like, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, go ahead. That'd be awesome. And he did. And I, I was, like I said, I received them. I started some and the level of detail on these is just sublime. That really is. I'll leave a link to his website in the old description below. Um, please go and take a visit. He, doesn't just do normal infantry, it does Napoleonics, French, which I was looking at the other day, and they do look very, very tempting. So I've completed four heavy infantry and one, two, three, six of the archers and crossbowmen. And what I'm working on next is a couple of riders, some knights. Um, they're in the stage now where just literally just taking all the bits off and tidying them up. I'll stop waffling on and I'll turn the camera around and we'll have a look. Right folks, this is the state of play. I've got my new light on, so hopefully this all goes to plan. These are the ones I'm working on. This is the one, how they arrive. Okay, in a little couple of little bags where they actually keep the rider and his bits separate to the horse. And this is the horse. I've literally, I haven't glued the reins on. It is just... Focus. There you go. This is what I was telling you about the level of detail, and they are absolutely beautiful. They really, really are. I mean, I've not cleaned this up at all. I've just been taking all the plugs off and stuff. And that's the horse, uh, one rider. You see all the bits and pieces there. A few things may need a little bit of um, hot water treatment just to straight out but that's not an issue my fingers work today so i mean so it's not really an issue but and this was telling about the detail is just it is absolutely like i said i haven't tidied these up i just can take like the main plugs off and stuff and the detail is this is the color they come in i've not sprayed these at all You got shield, very nice. These are the completed. Now I'm going to ask for some advice here. The these guys. Do I leave the shield? This is how they paint up. I mean, I mean, you look at the detail on that. It's just superb. I can't cannot fault these enough. The shield. I've just gone for a dirty look on the shield, but do I attempt a cross, or are there any transfers out there which would give me a, a red or black cross, which covers the entire shield? So if you know if, if there are any companies that does transfers for this size shield, please let me know. I'll go through the miniatures one by one. And like I said, superb. Absolutely superb. Well, I'll be on the end of that uh, spear. Really, I cannot, like I said, well, this isn't an issue with the miniatures themselves. And they do paint up so, so well. This is my issue, right? Because I've got ext <laughs> extremely big hands. When I was actually working on the, let's move them out of the way, these guys, um, there was one, let me just leave it there. Let's see if you can spot which one it is. It is this one. When I was putting this one together, you know, it was his arm, this one is different. 
to his other arm. And that's because when I was tidying it up and um, taking all this flash off and stuff, I flicked it and it's gone. It went on the floor somewhere and it's gone to the the place where we dare not mention where if you lose something on the floor, it's gone. But I managed to find a spare arm from my Viking box. So yeah, it kind of works, but the miniatures, this is the finished article apart from the basing, obviously. And these, I can't. I mean, I know you're probably thinking, oh, he's been told to say this, but really? The level of detail on these is just, they are really are beautiful miniatures. I can't, like I said, I'll, I'll keep, oops, I'll keep blabbering on about it, but they are beautiful miniatures, but fiddly, very, very fiddly. Take your time, there's no hurry on these, they're your miniatures, you paint them however you like. And I think I've done a rather good job there. I will be working on the horses. Like I said, they're going to be tidied up and cleaned up yet. And like this guy, he's like pointing out, Oi, shoot that way. Yeah, really, really nice sculpts. I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link to his channel in the, in the description below. Absolutely wonderful bloke. Custom service is fantastic. Abs, it's just, yeah, wow. You can see the level of detail in the actual unit. Not the unit. The outfit is wearing a tunic, that's what I was wearing. You can get some nice washes in there and some nice recesses. Really are uh, superb miniatures. And that is how far I've got. I was a little bit apprehensive with painting these because of the level of detail on these miniatures but once you get the the base colors down and the wash applied these ones at the back these ones they've had just literally the base colors a wash of agrax surf shade yeah and a wash of strong tone army paint strong tone and I'll just put a few highlights on the face. Because you know what they say, faces and bases. But that is the state of play with my VMV miniatures. These ones I'll be working on with the next couple of days. And I will be visiting um, Carl's website to purchase some French line infantry. It does French line infantry, voltages, uh, grenadiers, and they look sublime. Please visit Carl's website, drop him a comment, say hello, buy some stuff. Absolutely awesome. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Please, I've been the Miniature Painter and you guys have been beautiful as always. I shall see you in the next one. Bye.